Hello guys and welcome to the channel. I am Marv. This is Readings by Marvelous Madame Tarot. This is going to be your June 2024 number two energy reading for the beautiful sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Taurus, remember everything you need is below in the description box for you and your collective um, and in the pink comment. Okay, if you're interested in purchasing um, anything from my shop, we have our summer line that's going to be debuted in the next couple of days okay we are very very close to cancer season if you're interested in the personal reading we do have a couple of slots available all right at the 25 dollars price point please book accordingly those links will be in the pinned comment um and finally this reading will not be extended so but if you wanted to purchase one of our past extensions you could definitely do that. All right. This is going to be a fan favorite, a promised reading that I had um, promised you guys. I have not done channeled messages in a long time. Please note when listening to this that the way that the cards come out is going to dictate the relationship status between you and this individual. Um, please take it as it resonates. All right. And I will not be reading the card um, I will not be reading these cards and telling you what they mean. I will just be looking at these particular cards and I will be channeling their energy and speaking to you from their perspective. This is channeled messages from your person. All right. And this is for Taurus. Show me for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Nice. Ace of Wands, King of Cups in the heart place. And we do have the lovers. <clears throat> this is for Taurus. Taurus, I want you to know that I am extremely excited and buzzing with a lot of excitement within me. I am um, ready to get back with you, to be a part of your world, to be a part of your life. I know that there were some things that went on between us that I have not been honest about, and that is my feelings. I want a brand new passion to beginning with you, Taurus. Um, and I am ready now, after all of this time, to actually make the offer to you that you deserved. In the past, I have been in an energy of trying to hide my feelings from you. Um, you have been away from me too long and I want that. I want to close the gap on the time that we've wasted. I know that you are disappointed with me and the way that I have betrayed my love for you. You accused me of loving you or held me accountable to be loyal to you the way that you were loyal to me. And in the past, I just wasn't ready to do that. Now, I have a brand new excitement around me. Our time away from each other has given me an opportunity to think, has given me an opportunity to reignite why I fell in love with you in the first place and to give me the time and the space needed to realize just how much I love you. And I would like to make an offer. I would like to offer my heart. I have to take this leap of faith with you because you've been there for me. You've been there for me when no one else was Taurus Collective or Taurus. I'm sorry. And I want you to know that it's time for me to offer up my heart in a way where I am no longer afraid and I can step towards you in a way where I offer up my love and my cup of love to you. And an offer to say, please accept my love offer that I have for us for reconciliation and for us to get back together. With this offer comes a deep spiritual connection that I am offering of the one on one variety. In the past, I have made myself very untrustworthy. I have put myself in a position where you didn't trust me. I violated your trust. And betrayed your love for me. I took you for granted. I took for granted how much you meant to me because I was blind and couldn't see. 
But now, rather than having multiple options in love, I'm done with all of that, Taurus. Now I'm focused on our one-on-one connection. I do believe that it is a, a deep spiritual connection. And I believe that my Lord and Savior or whatever entity is greater than myself has, tr- has, has shown me the way and has granted me with new sight to be able to look at you through a different pair of eyes. And this time I can't lose you. Okay. Right now, I know you're not focused on love. I know that my behavior has put you in a position that you have gone within yourself. You have probably turned your back on me or you've probably turned your back on love with the things that I've done to you. With the way that I misrepresented our relationship when you were doing nothing but trying to be there for me, I turned my back on you and completely acted the ass and completely betrayed what I was feeling on the inside because I didn't trust what I was feeling and I didn't want to be vulnerable. I was a fool. And right now you're in an energy of doing the exact same thing to me that I did to you and I deserve it. But I want you to know that I'm not going to give up. In the past, all I focused on was partying, focused on my friends, throwing my friends in your face, possibly not prioritizing you, not taking you out and spending that good quality time with you. And there was always a emphasis on everybody else except you, Taurus. And I'm here to let you know that that is about to change if you would give me an opportunity to show you. But I'm not going to stop because, again, I feel that spirit and Lord and whomever. I know I'm not as spiritually inclined as you are, but I feel that with all of the signs that I'm getting from my Lord and Savior and whoever I pray to, whatever you believe that I pray to, I'm telling you that something a sign, angel numbers, seeing double numbers, seeing your face on things, whatever that is, that has to be bigger than me. And whatever that is, it all points back to you. I don't even have to be thinking about you and then I'll get a sign. And I think that this is a sign from God or this spiritual being that's greater than me again, that all roads lead back to you. I won't give up. On trying to explain and show you that I'm serious. I know that once you put, once I push you to the point of no return, it's near impossible to change a Taurus's mind. But I am committed to making sure that I bring the same enthusiasm to you with getting back together and reconciling with you every day if I have to until I prove to you that I am serious. And I win your heart back. Wow, Taurus, this was nice. This person is extremely regretful. Um, They really do feel like they want to make up with you. They miss you. They have they want to offer up their heart this time. They don't give a hell about the the risk and rewards. Uh, The major arcana here is um, the lover's. Um, they could have, again, and with this three of cups in the past, they could have had multiple options in the past. Um, they could have cheated, um, not prioritized you right. Everything that they said that came out in their energy. But I do want to highlight, although I'm not going to go into what the cards mean, this lover's card. So this was the card that remains. So what remains is, is at one point there may have been multiple options, but now this person is here to say, You are it and you are who I want. They really have, they think that you were sent from God, that you were sent from above, um, that you were sent to be with them. And no matter what they did, they have to express this to you. They have to express this to you. So this is where I'm going to stop it. Like, share, and, and subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. Everything you need is below in the description box for you and your collective Taurus. Always a pleasure. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.